Way back at the start of the 20th century, when the motor car was still something of a curio across large parts of the world, Henry Ford managed to dramatically change the lives of millions of people by launching the Model T Ford. Pioneering the production line technique, which enabled Ford to produce large volumes of Model Ts at the kind of cost that was unimaginable with the previously de facto static coach building method used to produce cars, the Model T has rightly earned itself a place in the history books as one of the world's most revolutionary vehicles. Making cars affordable for the first time, the Model T reached an annual production figure of half a million cars per year just nine years after production began, and went on to become the first car to sell 1 million, 5 million, 10 million, and 15 million units. In fact, during its 19-year production, it's estimated that 16.5 million Model T Fords rolled off the production line. Since then, we've seen plenty of other revolutionary cars pioneering some new engine or drivetrain technology, safety features, or more recently, advanced design technology designed to make our journeys safer. And every time such a revolutionary new car comes along that has the chance to change the world, someone, somewhere, tries to compare it to the mighty Model T. And usually, they fail. But now there's a new contender to be compared to the Model T in terms of sales and influence around the world. But this time, it's not a car, but a brand, Tesla. As the folks over at Visual Capitalist detailed earlier this month, and I've included a link in the description, the similarities between Tesla today and the young Ford Motor Company are striking, leading it to ask if electric vehicles are, thanks to Tesla, poised for their Model T moment. On paper, it does look convincing, at least when it comes to vehicle production. Indeed, Tesla has tracked Ford's Model T production ramp up pretty closely for the past six years ago, with Tesla's original production goal of half a million cars per year initially set for 2020. That would have placed the California company's vehicle production almost a lockstep in line with Model T production. But as you may know, Tesla recently revised its production goals, pushing its half million vehicle target forward by two years, meaning Tesla will soon start to accelerate away from Model T's historical production growth. In comparing Tesla to the Model T, Visual Capitalist even examines the number of automobile routes that existed in the continental US in 1907 and compares it to the number of automobile routes that existed in the country 13 years later, highlighting how the growth of the Model T seemed to perfectly echo the number of roads available for people to drive on. That seems to nicely track the growth in number of superchargers and other electric vehicle charging stations across the US since the Tesla Model S launched in 20. 2012 as well, yet again showing that Tesla is tracking the Model T's growth nicely. But here's the thing. Tesla isn't the only company spurring the growth of electric cars. Nissan, BMW and GM, to name a few, are all pushing their own electric cars to market. And while they may have some way to go in terms of meeting the performance and overall range offered by Tesla's electric cars, many of Tesla's competitors are offering cars for sale which more than easily meet the criteria for being mass market and affordable. The Tesla Model S, Model X and Model 3 may be mass market, but they're still out of the price range for many. Even the Model 3, with its $35,000 headline starting price, is out of reach for many. And while that means that while Tesla may be revolutionizing the way we think about electric vehicles, in the same way that the Model 3 helped revolutionize the way society thought about the motor car, it still can't quite match Ford in terms of its ability to get a product to market that is low enough in its price that it's within reach for most people. But not all hope is lost. According to my calculations, a Model T Ford would, adjusting for inflation, cost just under $26,000 in today's money, which isn't far off the price of today's Ford Fusion. But that's still $9,000 less than the starting price of the Model 3, and just over $4,000 less than the entry-level Nissan Leaf. Which brings me to my conclusion. Tesla, specifically its Model 3, does have the potential to dramatically change the way we think about electric cars for good. But it's not the only long-range affordable electric car in the marketplace, and it's also not offering the same freedom that the Model T did. And thus, it's not super easy to compare to the Model T Ford. The Model T Ford gave people who had previously had to rely on horses, trains, or human power the chance to own their own automobile, slashing travel times and improving quality of life. 
the Tesla Model S, Model X and Model 3, as well as all those other electric cars for sale out there right now, simply change the fuel type and add convenience features such as autonomous driving to the mix. In short, it's not a personal quality of life issue, but a personal comfort issue. And that's why I feel that the Tesla isn't quite at the Model T point yet. To get there, it'll need to bring down the cost of batteries even further to the point that electric cars are no more expensive than gasoline vehicles to buy. It's coming, but we're not quite there yet. Do you agree with my analysis or am I completely wrong? Or perhaps you've had an alternative take that you'd like to share. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And of course, if you'd like to see more videos like this, why not contribute to our running costs via Patreon? I've left a link below and a clickable one at the end of this video. That's it. Thanks for joining me. I'll be back tomorrow. And until then, keep evolving. <laughs>